to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, December 27th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. The older I get, the more I want people to get me practical gifts for Christmas. Because adding extra junk to my life is something I just don't need at this point. And it just happens that eliminating extra junk from your life is also a pretty good strategy for upgrading your off-season bodybuilding days. A few days ago, we saw an update from veteran big man Ian Valliere, who's apparently been crushing it lately. And according to Ian, he's sitting in the neighborhood of somewhere between 290, 295 pounds with what he's calling the best off-season conditioning of his career. Ian's getting to the point where he packs as much muscle as anyone he's sharing the stage with. So once he irons out the rest of the details, he can be a top five threat every time he steps onto the stage. I remember watching a post-game interview with Kobe Bryant once where he said that he valued winning over everything because there were no gray areas, no almosts. There is an undeniable finality to victory. Just ask Janet Leigh. She's coming into the Bikini International next year as the defending champ where she'll be looking to join a few of the biggest names in history of the division as back-to-back -back title holders. And in my mind, Janik is a Hall of Famer beyond a shadow of a doubt. But going back-to-back -back on the international stage would be the cherry on top of a career that has been as good as we've ever seen in Bikini. I heard David Goggins say that one of the keys to overcoming anything in life is being willing to admit your weaknesses. So I guess Samir Trudy's way of getting over the Olympia hump is to acknowledge his weaknesses, then spend the entire offseason blasting the hell out of them so that he comes back next year looking like a new man. Rumor has it that Samir's tipping the scales at somewhere in the 230 range. And if you've seen his Instagram at all lately, 230 doesn't feel like a stretch. Samir's always been someone who's understood how to take a cerebral approach to everything he does. So the fact that he's doing what he's doing now comes as no surprise. And I'm sure all of this sacrifice and hard work will be well worth it next year once he ends up landing his Olympia bid. I get asked for advice all the time for a lot of different things. And one of the things I find myself saying over and over again to people is to identify whatever it is you want in as much detail as possible. Set your intentions, burn those images into your head, then take steps every day towards making it a reality. That's where it all starts. And when you've been to the top of the mountain as many times as George Brown has, setting intentions becomes a whole lot easier to do. I'm told that George and his team are comfortable with the size they put in to the off season. And now it's just a matter of dialing it in for the Arnold. So as long as he can eliminate distractions, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be up there competing for a shot at the title. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.